Hi, I'm Daryl Webster, a cloudsmith for smartstuff.co.nz, and today we'll look at how to install Office 2013 using Click to Run from a USB storage device or USB stick. So there are four simple steps, and some of them are similar to installing from a network share. The first one to note is you do have to have the ODT, the Office Deployment Tool, downloaded and extracted on your USB key. You need to configure the XML file to be able to uh, download and uh, not use a source path. And two other steps, you need to download the source files themselves and you need to install from the USB key. So the just to illustrate the USB key when you're running, downloading the ODT tool, you'll store it on, on the key itself. When you run the first command, um, after configuring the XML file, you will download the source files onto the USB key, and you'll run that separate command via the command prompt, and that will install the Office build either on the same computer that you've got the USB key in, or if you're plugging it into one or two computers, then on those computers. If you are doing more than I don't know, two or three computers within your office, you're better off just installing and setting up a network share and using the, that deployment method. This is really just an ad hoc method that you might use uh, just on the fly. Um, and if you're maybe troubleshooting or having trouble with the network, um, network share method. So you download the ODT tool from the download center. That's the, the link there, and there will be a reference to that in the blog too. Uh, once you've done that and you've extracted it to USB key, I've plugged in my USB key and it's an F drive, and I'm keeping all my Office deployment tools and, and builds within this directory. Just a tip from Windows 8, if you wanted to go to the next step and launch a command prompt directly from that location, you can do so. from there. I'll drag that over there. Okay, so we're in the right location to launch the ODT. But now we're going to launch the command to download the software. And I won't make you watch that go through its full length of downloading and installing and downloading the latest build. Again, I just emphasize it's one gig, so it will vary depending on your internet bandwidth. We'll just put a pause on this recording and um, come back to see it shortly. While it is downloading, let's have a quick look at the XML file and the differences in that one as opposed to the network configuration file. So within this file, the main difference is that it is missing the source path. So there would normally be a source path part in here. So by missing that source path out, it's going to download and it's going to run the Office build install from the location that you're running the ODT tool. And that's perfect for using it in a USB key scenario. Minutes later, the Office deployment tool has finished downloading the Office 2013 bits and now they're located on the USB key and the directory structure with the build number. So now we're going to look at how to install them from the USB key. So we've downloaded the tool, we configured the XML file, we've downloaded the build file. Now let's go back in and run this command. Now I already have Office 2013 installed on this desktop, so I'm going to cut it short. But this will download, so rather it will install from the USB key. And once the <coughs> the installation window appears, I'll have to drag it over. There we go getting things ready. So you can do that from a USB key. 
once there's a cancel button, I'll do that. So there you go, installing Office 2013 using the Office Deployment tool and click to run from a USB key. Quite simple. Have a go at it. Thanks for watching.